All right, let's uh, put this game through its paces. The game is called Hex. Um, oh, is this? Let's uh, restart. Yeah, and uh, this is what we see. We start on the game pane. Uh, I've got a bunch of things going on here in the game pane. We've got a turn indicator. We have a play area with a bunch of hexagons, currently labeled borders, somewhat mysterious gray. Um, blue and red stripes, and then these two buttons, uh, play versus person, play versus AI, and this turn indicator is sort of encouraging us to press one of those buttons. We can take a look at the dashboard where we have a sign out button, some current user information, some switches, and a list of previous games, and uh, a chat region. And, uh, you know, we're not playing anything right now, and if we, uh, if we try to chat, um, you know, we don't crash nothing nothing happens so let's um let's actually start uh here in the dashboard when we sign out we're taken all the way uh all the way back to the sign in page and uh and we can sign in and as a new user and uh yeah we see some previous games which we shouldn't see um but um, we uh, here have um, a list of who we are, and we have some controls over what the game area looks like. So if we don't label the borders, um, uh, we're missing these uh, columns are letters and rows are numbers. And we can also label the interior hexagons and that gives us um, a little bit of a busy display but it can be useful when you're trying to figure out what's going on in terms of playing the game so uh, we'll turn that off for now and then we have this list of previous games which we saw before um, and let's see so here if we just uh, if we hit play versus person we get this um, toast uh, snack bar hello that says uh, it's not implemented if we play versus AI, okay, this is this is us. We uh, flip a random coin. Fifty percent uh, were blue, fifty percent were red, and then also, f you know, who goes first? Fifty percent blue goes first. Fifty percent red goes first. So, um, I'm just gonna play through. Oh, actually, you know what? As I'm playing, I'm gonna I'm gonna send a chat. Um, okay, and so that shows up here. We got a timestamp. Um, and it, it shows up here in the, the last four uh, uh, chats are going to show up here. And I'm just going to, you can see that the AI sent us a, a message. It was, it was very nice. This is how people talk on uh, when they're playing games, right? Um, and you can you can sort of see how this is updating, and uh, we have we have two lines to display, and then then you hit an ellipse. And I'm uh, purposefully um, okay, yeah, and, and yeah, that's why I wanted. This is a long message, and uh, you know it gets it gets sort of cut off. But you can see how this how this works. Um, I wanted to. Uh, sort of go backwards a little bit here to show you that uh, through the power of Dijkstra's algorithm we can figure out who won and we can find the shortest path. So blue won in 45 moves and um, uh, we see you know the, the rest of the uh, of the chat history and uh, um, you know we're happy we can go back to the dashboard now we can see this previous game we can select it then we have a bunch of new uh, controls so back to the beginning of this replay game, previous move, turn indicator, next move, end of the replay game. And we see the entire chat history the entire time. And if you, if you try to chat in here, uh, uh, you get a, a toast that says you can't, you can't chat during a replay game. Um, you also, you also can't, uh, can't chat something empty. Chat comes first. Okay, so um, you know you can see that we can replay the game, and we get the turn indicator, and we can go backwards. You know, and the the 
hexagons are disappearing. We can go all the way to the end. And uh, when we do win, we do get the, the animation. And as we go backwards, you can see that these um, hexagons are, are being uh, you know, turned back to the unclaimed state and being cleared. I don't actually clear the, the winning path. I thought it was sort of cool. But if we go back to the end, we detect that we won and the path is lit, but you know, it's, it's overwriting until the very end. And we can go back to the beginning. Okay, and, and um, oh yeah, also uh, when we chose a replay game, uh, we had these new controls and we also have the date in this gray bar uh, was added. And so um, here if we go, um, this is a, uh, a completed game. Uh, and if we say um, play versus AI, the uh, uh, chat is cleared, uh, the board is cleared, uh, we're playing a new game, this gray bar is, is cleared, uh, the AI goes first, and so it, or it, it went, and now uh, we go and, you know, we're playing and we're chatting, you know, and uh, we're back to this sort of dynamic, okay, and of course we're playing against a random opponent, so not, not too interesting from a st strategic point of view. Okay, and uh, you know you can you can see this game even though the game is in progress you can see it. Um, that's that's really it's really about it. Um, there are let's see a couple of edge cases. This is an edge case that I should fix, but um, oh, I was in the middle of a game here. Um, but see, now I'm, I'm Betty Rubble, and there are these other games. So if I choose one, yeah, and you can see the chat history, and you can see it reflected here, and, you know, we can go replay. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. If, if, you, if you hit play versus person, uh, you get a toast that says it's not supported, but uh, we do um, clear the screen, it's mostly for debugging. We don't change the turn indicator. It's sort of, it's not really a, it's, just, it's mostly there for debugging. So... See, was there anything interesting in here? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you can sort of see. Oh, and you know, we can we can click on any area. Set the on-click listener uh, at the root. So, um, yeah, I mean that's uh, uh, that, that's that's the story. So uh, have fun and uh, you know enjoy programming and learning about hacks.